Hey guys, Jonesy here. Welcome back to CKC Garage. And today we have another gem for you guys. Check out this little cutie. This is a rare model. It's a PowerTech Slammer. Now what is unique about this is it's chain driven. Yeah, it's got basically like go-kart parts in here. Just baby sized. So it's got a metal frame. Let's just get right into it. We'll flip it up. So you can see it's got a tube metal frame here. It's got a brake pedal with a brake right there on the axle. It's nothing fancy, just a drum shoe brake. And right underneath there, you can see the Unite motor and a little bitty chain. It's like basically the exact same stuff that is on a Razor brand um, crazy cart. So it's a one wheel peel deal. So that makes it so that it turns really easy for the kids. Um, the scale realism of this thing is insane. So it's got a radiator hood, radiator grill type thing here. Possibly it used to have a belt on there, I'm not sure. You know, separate little uh, valve covers that used to have spark plugs. And it's a V8. Got some uh, zoomy headers there, hood scoop. So it's got the sound effects machine, but unfortunately this is not working. So it's got a on off switch here and you push this and it starts to rumble. And then it's got a horn and a, they say turbo, but it's not a turbo sound. So we did put fresh batteries in it. We tried to get it going. The good news is, is it's nothing in the circuit board. There's a circuit board in here and we swapped it out with this guy right here that's in bad shape, but this one works. So it's in the on position. So you see how that, see how that spins? And that's what makes it uh, rumble. And then when you have it on, Did you hear that? It wasn't a turbo, that was an acceleration. But super cool. Um, we're gonna get her going again and get this out to some little kiddo. So it does have some damage on the, the zoomy here. I don't know if I'm just gonna sand them all the same or uh, what I'm gonna do on that. But you know, we're gonna sandblast them and paint it and get this guy going again. But if you guys see one of these, I don't know how many went to the dump, but it makes me sad. Legit steel roll bar there. Um, oh, let's pop the old trunk lid here. It's got a broken tab. We're going to have to fix that. Easy fix. Um, looks like it used to have an on off switch here. So that turns it on and off. Um, this all works. So you plug in a battery and they rewired it so that it's off of this starter switch. It's just a momentary starter switch. I do have a feeling that this is all like homemade, you know, the, sh the shifter probably went out and what they did is they just hooked up a contactor here that turns it on and off, but there is no reverse. So, um, don't know exactly what we're gonna do. If I'm gonna put it on 12 volts or if I'm gonna do 24 volts variable speed, but Super cool cable actuated mechanical Just they just don't make them like this anymore guys. You aren't gonna find something like this to be made today Unless it's custom But I'm gonna get some pictures of this of before because I'm terrible at that And we're gonna go ahead and start getting this thing tore down stickers removed and we're gonna paint it What, what color should we paint this guys? Leave a comment down below. Let us know. What should we paint this thing black red yellow? You know, it's a tea bucket. What do you guys want to see? Anyways, I just had to get a video of this for you guys because I don't, I like to find research on things that I'm building or what I'm looking for. If you guys see one of these or at least put it on your um, search saved function, you know, on Facebook Marketplace, you go on there and you can click save. And if something like this pops up, um, chances are you're not going to find one because this is the only one I've found and I've been doing this for a lot of years all right so here it is we got it all broke down there's the chassis check this out guys 
I'm sure you're excited to see what this looks like too. So this right here is actually the drum brake. So that slides over there. And when you pull the cable, it reduces that shoe down. So that's pretty cool. So there's a bearing there and this, this is the driver. This is what I wanted to see. So when this goes on the axle, of course it's gonna push that side out on me, huh? So, oh, I bet there's a crush sleeve in there that's uh, hitting. So it's got tons of bearings and this is the driver that fits in from the sprocket. And what I wanted to know was if we put a lot of power to this and this wears out, can you switch the other side? But well, you can see nothing. So there's, you can't, you know, rotate these tires. So um, that's what that looks like, guys. Little bitty chain. It's got some kinks in it. We're going to put that in the ultrasonic cleaner and get that uh, cleaned up and soaked in some oil. And then good news here, guys, on the old motor. Uh, we opened it up and all it was was a broken motor lead. So batteries in it, turn it on. So yeah, we got a working motor. We just got to disassemble it and uh, get this all sandblasted, scuffed, painted. I'm actually thinking matte black on the red body and a gloss black frame. What do you guys think? So yeah, pretty cool guys, Powertech Slammer. There is the breakdown. Oh, oh, one last thing. So we are gonna do variable speed 24 volts. So here's the controller for it. That'll go back here in the you know back of the compartment. So all we gotta do is figure out how to mount this. I'm thinking some kind of linkage and using the stock, stock pedal here, but with some kind of linkage bar. We'll have to figure that out, but. We'll do an update video on the build, but uh, yep, time to start cleaning. Mm -hmm.